What is up guys, welcome back to the top 5 most overpowered defenders in this video. I am going to be doing a part 2 so don't be saying where is this guy, where is that guy because there is going to be top 10 defenders but they're split into 5 in each video so you're going to be expecting another one of these um, sometime during this week. So if you're looking for coins check out UT Coin Traders. their link will be in the description as usual. But today we're going to be showing you 5 of the top defenders that I think are so overpowered they don't go for anything at all probably one or two K and you will see them in so many fucking teams and you and it makes you hate FIFA and that is exactly what you're gonna see in this video so let's see first up we're gonna be talking about let's see day day um can I you will see him in every single fucking Brazilian team every single Brazilian team this guy is there I don't know why maybe it's because he has that 81 pace just maybe and that 81 defense so he's so overpowered and he doesn't go for anything you could pick this guy up for 1k can you guys believe that 1k for an extremely overpowered defender and he's probably one of the best defenders in this game and he's only 80 overall next up one of the most common defenders you will find in Premier League teams it is Kabul he's always there 77 pace he feels like he has 85 pace in game 80 defending he's so overpowered in this game so strong and he's got really good heading somehow he's got really good heading let's see how tall is this guy he's six foot three no wonder he is good, really good at heading but he you can pick him up for like 800 800 coins or some shit and he's probably one of the best defenders in the Premier League the best center back uh, with him and company but company is not going to be overpowered because he is 85 overall I did um, notice a couple of you were saying you should put Chiellini and stuff that is not be, that's not calling them overpowered some some of you even said put Ramos how is Ramos overpowered but anyway Walker right back probably the best right back in in the Premier League hands down actually he is the best right Right back in the Premier League and he's only got 78 overall and he's got 91 pace 77 defense what he feels way better than that and he's always you, you could always count on him in the air how tall is this guy he's 5 foot 10 but it seems like he wins every single header that 91 pace he seems extremely fast as well you cannot pace abuse against this guy he will always catch up to you Next up we have Gambarini, you will always see him in the same Serie A teams every single time. 78 pace, 80 defense, 78 heading and look how tall he is, 6 foot 1 and he wins a lot of headers. I've had him in my Serie A team and he's so overpowered. Look at these, um, 80 overall, 79, 78 and 79 again and he's not even a, a rare player but you will see him in so many teams. Um, next up we have another Serie A centre back it is Ogbonna and he is 79 overall again and he's got 80 pace and 81 defence probably one of the most overpowered centre backs uh, in my opinion do you know why? He is Italian and he is black and he has 80 pace and he's one of the strongest centre backs I have ever had how is this possible for a non-rare? Like why is he 79 overall but feels so much better in game? I don't even know why. But that is pretty much it for this part, the first part of the most overpowered defenders. The top 5 overpowered defenders. I'm going to be making a, t a part 2 for this top 5 um, overpowered defenders. And I'm going to be doing top 5 uh, strikers that are overpowered. Those are going to be split into 2 videos as well. So if you enjoyed it and want to see more make sure you hit the like button. And as usual guys I really hope you have. Have a very nice day.